Yo, it's a schoolboy football, no local. The youths are moving to international big league. And I still people are for member which party start. It's a schoolboy football. To the four manages and give you the starting lineup for this Glenmuir team. Antoine Gooden will be in goal. They have a back four. Brandon Wallace at left back, Ramon Francis, the Camperdown transfers at right back, and centre backs Anil Headley and Tavon Coleman. In the middle, Jason White, Devoney Gordon, and the very dangerous Kyle Gordon, the player to watch with DeAndre Johnson, Tashawn Cummins, and Orain Watson up front. They are coached by Andrew Peart. The captains now take centre stage. Sajai Ashman for Manchester High. He steps away and the officials go through their final moments as we get ready to have a look at the Manchester High lineup. Well, for the second consecutive game, Giovanni Bennett has been prefer preferred in goal to Shamar Kamak, who had quite a hauler of a game in the defeat against BB Coke. They have a back four as well. Rashid Harriet at left back, Javis Lloyd at right back, the captain Ashman, along with Malachi Hudson in the center of their defense. Shemaine Ham, the England born Shamaya Salmon, and Ron Webb, who scored a beauty against BB Coke in the middle, with Adrian Campbell, Michael Reed, and their leading scorer with 19 goals, Javier New. Newman, the front three. Jamar Brown, their second leading scorer with 11 goals and another influential player, Tyrese Douglas, are both out of the squad. Let's have a look at the match highlights then. Machine Nation getting the contest underway. Glenmuir High on the front foot for most of this game. And DeAndre Johnson with a ferocious right-footed drive. Well tipped over by Giovanni Bennett. Manchester High had their moments in the first half. This shot cleared by the player of the match. Anil Headley. Kyle Gordon, the captain. Well, went for the spectacular. He could have taken that down and then gone for a shot. Johnson's cross, not finding Orain Watson or Tajon Cummings. They kept dominating this first half. This shot from Orain Watson at the perfect height for Giovanni Bennett to push away. And the score remained at 0-0. Manchester High, another one of their moments late on. The biggest save, Antoine Gooden had to make in goal. Michael Reed with a right-footed strike. Gooden getting down well, low to his left. Then in the 51st minute, Jason White with a free kick from range, there was some swirl onto it. It caught Giovanni Bennett off guard. And the entire Manchester High fraternity as Glenmuir took the lead by a goal to nil. Then in the 55th minute, they would get a second. Ball slipped through for Arane Watson, who drove what looked like a relatively innocuous shot at Giovanni Bennett and the Manchester High number 40 didn't get down, couldn't hold on and Glenmuir went up by two goals to nil. Arane Watson, the 16-year-old, will be 17 on Saturday celebrating his sixth goal of the campaign. 2-0 to Glenmuir. They made a number of changes. Nyron Allen, one of the substitutes, getting that across and then getting there in the nick of time to send it across, but Tashawn Cummings couldn't turn it home. Another rare opportunity for Manchester High that went over the top. But this was a pretty dominant performance from Glenn Muir. Orain Watson again with another opportunity. Tried to go with the outside of the boot, I think, and went well wide of the mark. And this shot at the whistle, saved at the near post by Shamar Kamak, who came on as a substitute replacing Giovanni Bennett. Final statistics then. 19 shots for Glenmuir, 5 on target, just 5 shots for Manchester, 2 on target. 17 fouls in the contest, 11 of them committed by Manchester High. 4 yellow cards, 2 apiece.
nine corners, six for Manchester, just three for Glenmuir. And Glenmuir really dominating possession, 70% to Manchester High's 30%. And here we have our water man of the match, none other than O'Neill Henley. Congratulations, O'Neill. Today you did a fantastic job on the pitch. Assess your performance in your words. Well, it was a very good performance from me. Um, the team performed very well as, yeah, as we should, and we came out here and get the three points. Well, you do have tough opponents to play in, in very short order. Are you nervous to play them, or is this win giving you some confidence? Never nervous. This win bring more confidence to the team. And the last time Glenmuir won a Dakota Cup title was in 2012. Do you think that this time around you guys can do it? Yes, we will do it for sure. Okay, thank you and all the best. Congratulations. All right, thanks. And now we welcome the coach of Manchester High. Yo, it's a schoolboy football, no local. The youths are moving to international big league. And I still people are but member which party start. It's a schoolboy football.